Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video I'm going to talk about the batteries, supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors and what are the differences between them and how do they work. We're going to learn everything about these uh, electric storage components. So let's start with uh, batteries. I have here two um, lithium batteries. This one is lithium polymer battery 10,000 mAh and this is uh, 1000 milliamp power lithium ion batteries how do batteries work normally batteries can store a very huge amount of energy and you can use these batteries for a long time uh, in some applications they convert uh, the chemical energy into electric energy with the help of re chemical reduction reactions uh, they use some chemical components inside these batteries and they have some ele ele electrolyte inside it so they convert the chemical energy into electric energy when it comes to supercapacitors supercapacitor also can store a very huge amount of energy but their working principle is completely different than the batteries supercapacitors work uh, according to the uh, faradic uh, electrostatically charged energy when you charge your supercapacitor there is no chemical reaction inside it two electrodes just um, storage electrons and ele electric energy according to the electrostatical uh, principles of um, according to electrostatic principles let's say so their working principles are completely different than the batteries now when it comes to electrolytic capacitors i have here a very huge electrolytic uh, capacitors this is uh, as you say um, 38,000 microfarad and 25 volt. These uh, electrolytic capacitors also work according to uh, the same principle with the supercapacitors, almost the same. They electrostatically charge the energy, but the amount of energy is very, very low when you compare with the batteries and the supercapacitor. Now I am going to show you um, the charging and discharging curve, uh, the batteries and capacitors and uh, the supercapacitors. First of all, let's start with batteries uh, charging curve of a battery. When you charge a battery, rechargeable battery, at the first time they quickly charge and after some time they are uh, stable and charge very slowly. Just like here, if it's zero, they start to charge very quickly and after some time they charge very slowly and stable at that point. Here is the voltage, DC and time. You need to know that capacitors and batteries working with DC electric current, not AC. This is the charging curve of a battery. When it comes to a supercapacitor, supercapacitors are charging curve almost the same. At the first time, they are charging very, very quickly. When you compare with the battery and after that they slow again and charge in a shorter time my friends but when we talk about the electrolytic capacitors uh, the electronic the electrolytic capacitors are charging in linear form and very very quickly just charge in a very short of time and linear just like this start to charge and up here in a very very uh, short times my friend this is the uh, charging curves of batteries supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitor now when it comes to this charge process again start with batteries at this point uh, when you discharge a battery, they slowly, first of all, uh, discharged and after some time, they stable for a long period of time and at some point, they dramatically drop down. So, we can say that there is a point here, critical voltage point for lithium ions and uh, lithium polymer batteries, this is 3 volt. So you shouldn't use your batteries, I mean your mobile phone, your cell phone, in a very uh, low charging. When the batteries drop down and under 3 volts, it's, it means it's critical. You should 
charge your battery so when you char use your mobile phone and uh, your battery low you should immediately charge your uh, phones okay now when it comes to again to uh super capacitors super capacitors are um discharge more quicker more quickly than batteries they discharge just like this and just like this my friends so you can you see the differences between batteries and uh super capacitors when we talk about the electrolytic capacitors electrolytic capacitors electrolytic capacitors again linearly discharge and very very quickly they charge and discharge very very quickly my friends just like this. you see this is the differences between um batteries supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors so uh, now let's talk about the energy storage what are the differences between those uh, components and uh, a supercapacitor can store energy according to this formula 0 0.5 multiply with uh, capacity and multiply with the voltage so if your uh, supercapacitor uh, 500 farad multiply with 2.7 volt and multiply 0 0.5 according to this formula you can uh, measure the energy uh, stored in your supercapacitor okay now uh, when electrolytic capacitor the energy formula is the same for electrolytic capacitor so it means that when we uh, apply this formula to the supercapacitor and electrolytic capacitors uh, it means that the amount of energy <laughs> stored in the in both devices is very very different. You can store much more energy uh, in supercapacitors because of this the capacity. Uh, supercapacitors are very very high capacity. As you see, it is 500 farad. This is only uh, 38,000 but microfarad, not farad, microfarad and the energy stored in the uh, batteries are much more higher than again uh, supercapacitor so according to the uh, when we compare the energy um, batteries have the uh, most uh, powerful in terms of energy after that uh, supercapacitor comes and after that electrolytic capacitor so why uh, we need to use supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors because of the energy density i mean the batteries can uh, discharge the output uh, current of the batteries are about uh, 3 or 4 amp but the output current of a supercapacitor can reach up to 500 amp according to uh, the capacity of your supercapacitor and again the output current of electrolytic capacitor are very very high maybe up to um, two or three hundred amp but in a very very short time as i said because of the energy density so we can say that in terms of energy density supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors are very very uh, better than batteries in terms of um, energy density the main differences supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors can discharge give the uh, current in a very very short time they can discharge uh, all of the energy stored uh, in them but batteries cannot uh, give that amount of energy because the internal resistance of uh, batteries are much more higher than supercapacitor and electrolytic uh, capacitors now i am going to uh, show you charging process of these components according to the curves and discharge these components and compare uh, with each other my friends i'm going to charge it with uh 1.1 amp only with 1.1 amp and we are going to see how much time we need to fully charge our electrolytic capacitor Can you see in a very short time it's completely charged okay about uh, 10 seconds it's completely charged 
Now I am going to uh, discharge the capacitor. You see, the output current of the capacitor is very high. They can um, discharge very quickly. I'm going to charge it again and make another test. Now I'm going to try to light up this bulb with my electrolytic capacitor. As you see, it can light it up uh, for a very short time, maybe for one second. Now I'm going to charge my supercapacitor. Just remember the figure, uh, just, uh, just a moment ago I draw. Now we are going to see the uh, behavior, charging behavior of supercapacitors. You can charge your supercapacitor with a very, very high current. So I am going to just charge it with uh, 5 amp. I set it a 5 amp and I'm going to charge it. As you see at the beginning, it charged very quickly. You see up to 0 0.4 volt. And momentarily it's going to more slowly, charging more slowly after some time. See, of course it's going to take very, very long time when you compare with the electrolytic capacitor. Now, as you see, it's increasing now more slowly, 1.20 uh, volt. Okay, my friends, I've charged my supercapacitor up to 1.2 volt. Now I'm trying to just light up this bulb again with my supercapacitor. Can you see? Can light it very, very, uh, not uh, very brightly, but of course for a long time. I'm trying to just uh, run this DC motor. Can you see? It can run the DC motor very fast and for a very long time because uh, the amount of energy stored in this battery uh, capacitor is much more higher than electrolytic capacitor. Okay my friends now I am going to discharge my super capacitor. Can you see? Power of super capacitor can uh, discharge very quickly. See? So this is the uh, main differences between batteries and supercapacitor. They can discharge very, very quickly. Now let's charge our battery. Charge this one. I should charge my battery with uh, lithium ion mode. By the way, the battery is not completely empty. Let's change the mode to uh, lithium ion battery and charge mode to one cell and charge that. As you see, my friends, the charging uh, voltage is immediately uh, increased up to. Uh, 4.1 volt and stable at that point until the battery is completely charged. Do you remember when you um, charge the capacitors, supercapacitors, and electrolytic capacitors, the voltage is slowly increased, but when you charge uh, your battery, the voltage almost stable until it's fully charged. Okay, now let's uh, see the discharge power of a lithium ion batteries. Again, I have here a thinner copper wire. I'll just short circuit the battery. By the way, for your protection, you should never uh, short circuit lithium ion batteries. It can be dangerous for your health. 
but just for the video I'm going to short circuit it as you see you can say that the lithium ion battery is also powerful not as much as supercapacitors but they are still powerful you see it's uh, melted see okay my friends uh, after this video i hope you will understand better understand the differences between batteries supercapacitors and electrolytic capacitors we get the end of our video i hope you enjoyed the video my friends if you enjoyed the video please like my video and subscribe subscribe my channel take care of yourself see you in the next videos my friends